Hey everybody, it's Steve with Sky194 and I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to stop in and visit and check out my video. And we're here at Watkins Glen in my league race in East Seniors. Stay double five. This is going to be really, really tough. Uh, qualified mid-pack. Again, I just can't just can't get the find the time here, the speed here with this uh, Lamborghini Huracan Evo 2. Of course, I'm the only one in the field. Maybe that's why, but um, I did a pretty drastic change here before the race. See if I can find some pace. I don't know if it'll work or not, but I'm fourth in the points, so this is going to hurt. So I really need to try to finish decent. Whoa! Car on the right. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Car on the right. Clear on the right. Car on the right. Clear on the right. Well, better, better than what uh, Pan Am had. They had a complete demolition derby on there on the first lap. I'm about to rely on my race pace because my qualifying stunk. Definitely need the help of the draft. AMG's a monster down the straightaway. We're in tenth. We moved up a couple positions. That was bad.
This is gonna really hurt. all over that Ferrari. Don't want no damage. Really messed up with that one turn one screw up. I don't have a symmetric setup, so that's what I did at the last minute. It's definitely not going to get speed, it's just not going to do it down the straightaways, it's just not. So that means you got to make up for it in the corners. What did I mess up there? The best I can hope for is probably trying to stay with mid 45s. Hopefully everybody slows down.
pulled a little gap from behind me, but still. Dang it! Not a good lap. Tires look okay. That is such a tough, these turns here are so tough. As far as finding some grip. Oh! Really not hitting us right. That's better.
I'm staying in his draft. See if I can get a, pull up on him a little. Not that great, but... Got to stay consistent, I hope. Oh, man. How did he catch me? Dang. I didn't know if anybody was behind me. I'm just messing up. If I could nail this cane at the bus stop up here, I'd be a lot better.
but I need to adjust my tires a little. Trying to get everything I can get out of it. Excuse me. These guys are tough, staying consistent.
little wide there. I do another couple laps. That hurt. Try that, keep it healthy just a lap or two. Come in this time. All right. Do that plenty of fuel. No, it didn't have to. That was just enough. I think I was more than I was too much. Got to make up somewhere. Main thing is no damage. Sorry, I'm huffing and puffing a little bit. Man, this is some work. Really good looking liveries. Come on, 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 come on.
Yeah. Almost had me. Come on, tires. I guess I should have pumped the tires up a little more, I guess. Oh, he's getting good runs. Car on the left. Clear on the left. That was bad. I was trying not to hit him. I didn't want to hit him. That hurt my tires. Yeah, I can tell. I'll have to see if we can get our composure back.
need to come out with some kind of finish. Maybe them two will fight it out. Yeah, I just don't have the handle on this Huracan right now. I spent some time on it. All right. Not coming through.
surprised I didn't get a uh, out of bounds there. If I did, I did. I mean, I was deserved. Made up some time, he must have had a problem, yep. Just glad I missed that wreck in the beginning, guys. Guys are bouncing all over each other. Oh, uh, Chris is coming up behind me. He's fast. He must have had a problem. Yellow flag ahead. Be careful. There's a slow car ahead. All right, three laps to go. Dang it.
probably going to get me on the straightaway. That was the last lap or what? Okay, but either is on the final lap. Uh, nope. <laughs> that answers that. Yeah, I've tried wing, I've tried everything. And even when you pick low wing out, this thing is just, uh, this thing needs BOP help or something. I don't know. This thing is, <laughs> it just has no speed. I feel like I'm back in the Por old Porsche.
Cheers to you. Uh, good job. You did the best you could. Take it easy, indeed, lab. That was a good race. Sorry to Chris. Uh, not to, uh, to Chris. I guess Chris. I just, you know, I had to play defensive. I mean, if he would have got next to me, you know, again, I would have not tried to fight it. If he would have got up next, you know, next to me, next to me, not barely at my bumper, but I mean, if you had it next to me, I would have just let him have it. He's, he, without a doubt, had more pace than I did, but... You know, I mean, I'm trying to fight for points. Um. <laughs> Shoot. That's why. His VR recalibrated sideways after his pit stop. Oh, my gosh. His VR. Oh, my gosh. No wonder. No wonder, because he was ahead of me before. So. Um. But, you know, we finished 8th. Started 12th. So, I mean, it's still... You know, decent. Um, I'm not happy with it at all, though. I mean, just not happy. I mean, I, I know the car needs to be in the 44s. And I've got it, uh, what was my lowest? was a lower 45. 45.22. I mean, it, that's about what I was doing in practice. I mean, I think I had a teen. But, I mean, I, I knew that wasn't going to be good enough. I mean, you got to be getting in the 44s. And I have tried so much stuff, so I gotta I gotta work on handling more, I guess. I mean, I tried all the you know wing way down, um, and it, it you only gain like a mile, one or two miles an hour, not even two, one. You gain like one mile an hour with like going way down in a wing. I, I, I just don't, you know, I, that's not gonna. And you lose time everywhere else, so you're actually running slower. So, um, I'm just going to have to do better. Um, so, we'll we'll go back, come back to the track here. Let me see if I can um, do a little better on the setup, and let's see if we can see what we can come up with. All righty, well, we're back here at Watkins Glen. Um, I did many more laps, and Learned some more about the Huracan. Um, I did, you know, worked on this setup for a few hours uh, earlier today. And um, first did the race. And learning that the Huracan Evo 2, it basically is setting it up similar to the Porsche from old. Um, as far as you just can't really worry about speed on a straightaway. You got to really, again, go like I've always recommended. You know, go to the strength of the car, and basically, you know, the strength of the car is not straightaway speed. It is not, I mean, it's probably one of these slower cars on a straightaway, so you have to go where the advantage is, and that's in braking, and that's in cornering, and that's in uh, those kinds of things. So, you know, you really need to uh, concentrate more on that end of it, and not so much on, the, you know, a speed on a straightaway. So, we're going to make a lap. Just to kind of show you um, my line, similar to, you know, basically the same line that I was uh, in the race, but it gives you a better uh, angle. So, again, we're going to come up here. And again, I just, I hit the brakes, but not real long. And I just pretty much judge it from where this curve and the line is. You know, basically the distance. I'm trying to aim for to hit this. You know, not hard, hard, but uh, I would like to touch this curb on the inside if I can. But you know, it's it's tough to really hit it just right. I'm not too far off. I'm pretty close. And this is really critical. So very deep. You got to go here with the Huracan. So again, um, you're coming up right up. Between the 100 and 150, but you really got to be deeper than most. Most, you're barely at the 150 or just on the inside of it. But here, you're really coming up past it. You're coming up to the 100, not too far from it. So you're, you're you know, right before this sign. Uh, you're going in really deep. And it really helps because you want to take a late apex here. Because if you hit the, like you saw earlier, 
when I lost it and almost lost the position. When you, if you hit that curb too hard, it's going to throw the car almost crash. You want to take a late apex and get a good drive going up here to get as much speed as you can get. And it'll rotate so you can run it way out wide here. It's doing the same speed it was before, so and I added a click of wing. So again, you know, I'm coming up right before the guardhouse here. Um, coming in pretty, you gotta come in there pretty aggressive. Get up on the curb. So I'm pretty much up with all four on the curb. And what I'm trying to do is aim for this inside here when I'm coming back. See right there. That's what I'm trying to aim for as I'm coming back over this next curb. Now, that's another thing. When I, we'll talk about this a lot in the setup. When we go over the setup, when I ran a lot of negative camber, it would upset that there. It would, uh, a couple times I almost lost, I think the one time I almost lost it, but I hit that right there and it throws you into tank slapper. But if you don't run a lot of negative camber, you know, then you're maxed out is what I'm saying. It doesn't do that. So again, um, a lot more stable through here. On the brakes, um, not much, just trying to get the car to rotate. And you want to go all the way to that grating. So you want to go all the way down to the grating down here. Right up, all the way, right to, I mean, I'm actually past it in the in the car. So I'm actually going past it. So, but you're, that's your braking zone, but you're going in pretty deep. Here, you're going to go in pretty hard, too. So you're, I'm act going right up to the one. I'm actually you know, in the cockpit here in the driver's seat. I'm going past the 100. So you're right at it going in here. So it's pretty aggressive for this corner, but you got to do that with the car. Again, watch the steering. Let the car just kind of go out wide. And then here, about the 150. Want to just touch the curbing a little bit. It's good. Again, very slick corners right here. And again, on the brakes here. And I'm just basically judging where this curbing is. So to me, I'm a little bit away from it. Um, sometimes I'm more, I'm a little closer, but basically right around before this curbing here on the left. And again, it's pretty slick, so you got to kind of watch it there. And just before the 100, I just tap the brake to get the car to rotate. So, that's a lap. That was a 144.98. So again, it's still not where I want it to be. It's still a few tenths off where I want it to be, but I did gain some some time from where I had, you know, and what I was during the race and in practice. Um, and another thing, if you look here, that's over a tenth right there. So if that would have been there, that would have been an 88. So again, you know, it was. Super consistent. Now, if you look at these last four laps, first lap out was a 45.36, 45 flat, then a 30, you know, 44.98, then a 45.01. So that's really close. Um, and it seemed like it wanted to go faster as the fuel burned off. So again, uh, just like here, 18, 13, 16, and then I ran a 98. So again, very, very consistent. So, and that's, I think, uh, one of the things, one of the advantages of the, the Huracan Evo 2 is it can be very consistent. Um, so again, I, I wanted to build on that. So again, still from what I was running before in practice and the race, it was about the same times. Like I said, um, I gained about, you know, two and a half tenths 
that means solid two and a half, you know, two to three between two and three tenths solid. So again, I think that's you know a decent gain. Um, but again, I'm still a few tenths off where I need to be. <laughs> but I like this setup a lot better. Um, we'll go over what adjustments I did. We got 24-3 left side, 25-4 right front, and 25-2 right rear. The toe on the front is a negative 0 0.05. With the camera at negative 3.6 on the left front, negative 3.4 on the right front, and the caster at 12 and a half. Toe on the rear is a positive 0.1 with the camera at negative 3.3 on the left rear and negative 3.1 on the right rear. So again, a lot of this has changed. The alignment's all different. Everything, a lot is different here. So basically, the toe's different. The, the negative camber, the toe on the rear, every, everything has been changed a little bit. Um, I had almost max negative camber. So I ran like 4 on this side and 3.8 on this side So in the race. And you can see it actually likes this better. So again, things that I learned, I like running negative camber, less negative camber anyway. So it actually fits me better. Um, but that proves that to me that, you know, it doesn't have to be that. Maybe if you're driving with the setup is better with that. But I mean, I really try to have the best I could with the, you know, with that. But this seems to work a lot better. Um, of course, I took some negative toe out. And took some of the positive toe out of the rear. Electronics 3, 4, 1, and 5. So again, I have it on map 1. Um, you could put it to map 3, but I was trying to keep it from you know minimal engine braking. And use that as an adjustment during the race. That was the idea anyway. But you can put it to 3 and see if it works for you. So of course, I started with 55 liters. Number 1 brake pad. Tire wear is excellent. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, you know, I guess the tire wear was really good. Mechanical got three on the anti roll bar, 58 brake bias, steering's all the way down. Spring, okay, now this is where the car has got definitely totally different on all sides. Spring's 190,000 on the left front, 167,000 on the right front. The bump stop rate is 500 on the left front, 400 on the right front. Bump stop range is three on the left front and six on the right front. And on the rear, the spring's 164,000 with a bump stop rate of 1,000 and the bump stop range of 15. And on the right rear, the spring's 154,000 with a bump stop rate of 800 and a bump stop range of 25. Any roll bar is 7 and the preload is 120. So again, um, you got to get the car to rotate, okay? I mean, you're running a decent amount of wing. The car has natural downforce anyway. You have to get the car to rotate. So there's only so many ways you can get it to rotate. So one, there's so many hard right hand turns. Um, I did this and it seems it just it seemed a lot better. I did adjust this a lot. The springs are the same as the race, but the bump stop rates are different and the ranges. I think the ranges help go over the bumps a little bit better. I opened them up a little bit and I softened the rates all the way around. So again, I think it takes the bus stop better um, and things like that. It's not as harsh. So, um, and it gives a chance to get grip. Again, in those slick corners there at the, on the third sector, you got, you know, a little bit more softer bump stop rates and springs to try to help the car grip. And then here with, on the back, I have, I have a uh, one more click at any roll bar and I actually, the preload is, I, I think I took one or two clicks out. So again, trying to get the car to rotate from the rear. Um, but you need this, you need the diff, you need the preload because on the third sector, you don't need it in the, really in the first sector or so, but that last sector, it really helps with going through those corners that don't have a lot of grip, you know, gets the car driving forward. Um, and, and you don't, you know, you don't get the one wheel, you know, spinning things type stuff. Um, or if you're running on the curb, and, you know, and, and all that. So it just helps keep the car stable. Um, and also, but you need the anti roll bar to still help the car rotate when you need it to rotate. So again, a lot of changes here. Um, I think I have one less clicker anti roll bar in the front also, which again helps the car rotate from left to right as far on the corners. So again, that helps some too, uh, going through some of those slower corners again. 
So a lot of changes here from um, the setup that I raced with. Pretty much the only thing the same is the brake bias and the spring rates. That's the same. That everything else is different. Shocks on the left front we have eight, four, thirteen, and twenty, and on the right front we have seven, four, ten, and eighteen. On the rear uh, we have three, one, five, and four. So again, uh, different settings up here, all dialed in with Motec. Um, Try to get it as close as I could. And it, it, you know, it come out good, so it's really close. Arrow, we got it all the way down in the front at 54. In the rear, 64, with a rear wing of 8 and a brake duct of 3 and 3. And the front arrow variation is a 1.5 to the positive. So again, um, here, the only thing different, um, I did add some ride height. I think I added a couple clicks of ride height, but I also added a click of wing. So again, um, not that you you know you could go more, but I'm trying to creep on this, creep up on it. Um, I you know I don't you know you could go obviously a lot more wing, but I'm trying to still keep uh, the speed near the same. I mean again, I don't. It's not the most important thing, but you never know. Maybe another setup, I might have another click of wing. But it's the problem is the car will understeer. And you can only do so many things to get the car to rotate. I mean, I, I that'll have the the ride height jacked up, and I already got a you know a lot of anti roll bar in it now. So again, you know, there's only so many ways you can get this thing to rotate. And if you take the wing out, then what happens is the car's not too bad in the first sector, but it's awful in the last sector. Uh, it's just slipping and sliding all over the place. So again, um, I went with this because I think it'll do this consistently, and also, you know. Drivability is there, so and it's also faster because, like I said, I ran, you know, you saw that I ran, you know, but pretty much about two to three tenths faster. So again, I think it's just a overall a better setup in every way. So again, I think it's a lot better than it was, not where I want it, but a lot better. Um, and of course, I am fourth in the points. Well, I was, um, and the next race I will show the points, the standings. So I, I was meant to do that this time, and I forgot. But next race, I, I was in, uh, coming into this race, I'm fourth. But a top, the top two or three guys had problems and actually finished behind me. So, but Chris, um, he finished second, and he was behind me in points. Now I think he's ahead of me. He's, he's ahead of me in points now. I'm not sure how many, three or five points he's ahead of me. So, again, it's a battle. I mean, I'm if I could finish in the top five, I would be very happy because it's a really tough competition. And... To be honest, I I think I picked the wrong car. Not that I love this car, I love the Evo too, but I think I you know with me, I think I would have been better off uh, with multiple cars. But anyway, you know, I that's what I got, so I'm gonna keep working on it and seeing if I can get it faster. And you know, no, some of these tracks, Valencia coming up is the next race, and this car should do good there. Um, it should do decent. It should not be. Um, I don't know. It, that track doesn't have a lot of grip. Um, it's pretty technical, so I think this I think this car will do better there. And of course, I need to work on that setup and try to uh, get to where you know I can make it a better setup and work upon it and see if I can uh, try to get some more performance out of it. So that I'll be doing that before this next week. So again, I hope you enjoyed the race. Um, sorry, it took a little longer, but I just I wanted to put something out that was better quality than what I, you know, I had in the race. And, uh, I think it is better. So, um, I think that's okay. But, uh, again, I hope you leave me any comments are great. I love talking to all my sim racing friends. And again, please like, and subscribe. I know you guys hear that all the time, but it really helps, uh, especially with my channel. And please, you know, I appreciate watching the whole video because it makes a lot of difference with YouTube and things like that. So again, the link of this will be in the description and all my setups are free. You know, this and all my other setups. And, of course, it will be in the Discord also. And, of course, I will have the Discord link in there also. And, of course, I do have a PayPal link if you want to help support the channel that way. I really would appreciate it. Thank you very much uh, for all your support. And I sure hope you come back and visit really soon. Y'all take care. See ya.